That's what I call a bag, that boys. We got a big bag to sort through, man. Yeah. That's what we call them big sausage dog shrimp. Put them on the bun. Oh yeah. Did we catch enough to keep you working today? Hey, I'm busy. Yeah. Woo, you busy. We on it. This is the shrimp that we're looking for. <laughs> These are the boys we're looking for, guys. Right here. Look at that. Woo! Big shrimp. I was about to take you guys back out shrimp trawling right here off the Beaufort South, South Carolina. We're gonna be pulling a 40-foot trawl net, five by two and a half foot doors. Got our pull ropes ready and all the rigging's ready to pull. We're gonna pull, pull, pull. We're gonna pull this trawl net. Get it. Son Daniel, he's along for the ride today. Hey, ready to go, shoot. We ready. We're taking you guys out trawling on a 25 foot Parker pilot house. It's powered by the 350 Mark Cruiser. Oh yeah, they got their uh, trawl doors 
already pulled up on the side of the boat. Uh, the net is hanging, one of them. They may be still pulling in one of the tail bags, but that sure is pretty seeing it go, you know, that way in the distance on that Harbor River Bridge. Yeah. And you see those big beams coming off. Not only does that give you two outside points to pull from instead of just a center point like we got, it's kind of like walking on a balance beam with your arms out. It gives that boat stability and all. That's why they got them folded out even though their nets aren't out. And, and they can, if they get in really, really rough areas, they can run what they call birdies off the side of those outriggers. And it, has, it runs like a wing under the water that's planing and it'll help stabilize the boat also. Yeah. Anytime these big shrimp boats are, you know, with their outriggers up in there, it's a little bit more dangerous. Yeah. Makes them top heavy at that point. They didn't caught so many shrimp today, they put in the boat up. I hope them guys got them. I know they put in the time. They got a big, nice boat that's burning a lot of fuel. They got nets and stuff on it. They cost some money. And, you know, who wants to see someone, you know, not do good? If you're that type of person, you might not want to stay on this channel. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm not that type of person and I truly just choose not to be that way, right? Yeah. We have a choice. There's got to be shrimp out here. An abundance of shrimp out here is paying for that big boat and all the gas. they got to be out here somewhere. We just got to find them. Well, we're, we're pulling. We're running the turtle excluder in the trawl net which we can pull, you know, a good while with it. It's really kind of unlimited, but you don't want to just pull, pull, pull and mess your catch up. So it's all about timing. That's what I call a bag there, boys. We got a big bag to sort through, man. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys got a clear view of this. We might have to dump a couple of baskets. Pool. It was all me and Daniel could do to get the, the tail bag in the boat. For some reason, the little lector winch that we're using it has lost power or something, and it wasn't. It was not working. We manhandled this bag. This is 200 pounds. I call that a big pool on a shrimp trawl net, guys. Yeah. Daniel said it was going to be the biggest pool. Yeah, I knew. He called it. We're going to pull it back to a pool again for an hour or so while we sort everything. We are positioned against the current and the wind is coming from this way so it holds us back against the tail back. Go, get it. Let's get them, babe. We're getting sorted through the mess. We're coming up with some shrimp heads. Got the small mix over here. Small, medium, we call them mediums. And we got the large medium here. It's looking pretty good. Yeah. One of those days paying off. That's right. We're gonna pull, we're gonna pull, pull, pull. You know the deal, we gonna pull, right? what we call them big sausage dog shrimp. Put them on the bun. Oh yeah. Got the dolphin back over our trawl net. Everything's looking good. About one and a half foot to two foot seas out here in the sound right now. Still back there working. Did we catch enough to keep you working today? Hey, I'm busy today. Woo, you busy. We own it. Still so going through. truly enjoyed you come along on this video with us we're gonna see what we got in here 
Big basket. That's a pretty shrimp. Pretty shrimp in here, guys. We got to get out of here. The tide is dropping out. We're using our old Ford Bronco to pull this big boat out at the landing, and we don't want the boat landing to get too uh, low on us. This is the shrimp that we're looking for. <laughs> These are the boys we're looking for, guys. Right here. Look at that. Woo! Big shrimp. We got to get this net pulled up and head on back. <laughs>